Welcome trainees. Hello, my name is Sophia Hong, Assistant Manager of the Korea Tech Park Promotion Association. I'm in charge of coordinator for the online training. Before starting the lecture, KTPA prepared the orientation for enhancing your understanding of this course. As you already know, this course is a 12-day course from 26 October to 6 November, and it is conducted in English. Due to COVID-19, we cannot invite you to South Korea. Instead, you can participate in the lecture from a place with good internet access. Total of 16 trainees representing of Algeria, Georgia, Uruguay, and Paraguay participate in this course, and our goal is to establish a model for tech park which is suitable for each country through video lectures and practical training. For this class, your classroom, Google Classroom, has been opened. Then, shall we start the orientation in earnest? Firstly, let's find out the background and goal. And secondly, let's um, look at introduction of Training Institute, Korea Tech Park Promotion Association. And last but not least, let's look at the details of online training course. First, the background and the goals of this course. As you all know well, the training course, this program aims to contribute to the economic and societal developments of developing countries and support capacity building in developing countries by sharing the unique experiences and te technologies accumulated in the development process of Korea. Um, for the background of strength strengthening the capacity of human resources, organizational, institutional capacity of the recipient country and promoting friendly and cooperative relations. Although COVID-19 interferes with the training in Korea, we have an online training course. Through this training course, you will strengthen your innovative capacity for the development of local industries through which you will have the following effects. The first one is setting policy direction for industry developments and startups and SMS growth. And the second one is building model for regional innovative institution like Tech Park model. And the third one is continuous networking cooperation with Korea. Then, what kind of organization is the Korea Tech Park Promotion Association? First, I'd like to introduce the role of the Korea Tech Park Promotion Association in this training process. As a coordinator of, of online training, I'd like to explain the role of KTPA through the pre- and post-training process. First of all, before the start of the training, I will give you information about the overall schedule, including country report. Secondly, through a pretest, we had tests that if there is any problems with your online lectures. During the training process, I am here for supporting your participation, management and output, monitoring and responding to your inquiries. Throughout your online training program, I will always be here with you until the end of the training. In addition to the role of the KTPA for this online training course, let's look at two major roles of the KPA. KTPA supports the development and promotion of tech parks and uh, local industries as a consultative body of 19 tech parks nationwide. It serves as a network for establishing and vitalizing exchange and cooperation systems. Uh, to fulfill this role, a uh, major Businesses of KTPA are joint and common projects with Technopark, international cooperation project, expert support for SMEs, Technopark's research, and etc. If you connect with this URL, then you can access on our homepage. Then you might have questions about Technopark. Um, to answer for your questions very briefly, Technopars means a regional hub organizations which leads innovative growth of local industries and SMEs. You can learn more about details of Technopars of South Korea throughout this program. Um, to tell you a little bit more about work of KTP, it is divided into two main categories. The first one is inherent business, and the second one is a cooperative business. For the first one, inherent business, it is maintaining an expansion of cooperation between tech parts and with central government and other related organizations. And for the second one, the cooperative business, uh, 
our um, organization aims to increase effectiveness of projects by participating tech first common or joint businesses. For this for those two businesses, KTPAs worked hard for these six things. The first one is Technopark coordination, and the last one is Korean Technopark globalization. Then let's move to the session, the third. I will inform you about the details of this training course. I will explain the schedules, how to participate, the outputs that you must submit through this training course, and after the training course is over. First of all, um, this is the schedule of the training course. Um, this page you're looking at is an approximate part of the schedule. During the course from 26 October to 6 November, online lectures are marked in blue, and um, the real-time webinars marked in green, and the date of submission of the action plan are marked in orange colors. Please remember those the date. Then, shall we take a look at the detailed schedule? Today, October 26, the orientation and the first lecture will start right away. Real time webinars will be held on October 28th and 29th. Georgia and Algeria will be held at 10 a.m. local time on the 29th, while Paraguay and Uruguay will hold real time webinars at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. on the 29th. Please remember the Please remember that you must present your country report at the real-time webinars on the 28th and 29th. On the 3rd, listen to the lecture again. Um, please write an action plan using the lecture contents by November the 1st. And please submit your action plan by November 2nd. And submission time is until 9 a.m. on November 2nd, local time. Um, during the November Second through uh, first, um, Tekken Park Association's written feedback on the action plan, you will give in a lecture. The real time webinar will be held again on November 5th, and we will have two sessions. Georgia and Algeria will participate in the first session together. Please participate in Georgia at 1 p.m. local time and Algeria at 10 p.m. local time. During the second session, Paraguay and Uruguay will participate together and please participate in Paraguay at 10 a.m. local time and Uruguay at 10 a.m. local time. And the long-awaited November 6th, you will be asked to submit the final version of the action plan. Your online training graduation ceremony will be held on the same day. Um, does it end just because you submit the final version of the action plan on November 6th? Um, in order to appease your regrets, we are running an additional schedule until the 13th November. If you have any further questions after checking the feedback, which will be delivered on the 10th, please send your questions until 11th November. KTPA will check and inform the faculty's response to questions until 12th November. Through this process, the final version of the action plan will be confirmed. So far, you have been informed about this schedule and then you might have questions. Where should I do all this? Google Classroom is prepared for your online training. Before this orientation, you will sign up for Google Classroom by checking the sign-up code, which I sent you via email. In this online classroom, you will give presentation, take quizzes to make sure you have been in class and you have to submit an action plan. Please remember, Online lectures are only accessible for three days from the date of each class. For trainee to complete the online training, KTPA will provide systematic support from the start to the end of the training. Uh, what are the assignments that you must submit through online training? The first is country report. Country report is part of the action plan building process in which participants will be involved throughout the program. Before the start of the online training, you have already completed and submitted a report, I mean, country report. Now, KTPA is checking carefully to give you better feedback. Please keep in mind that you must present your country report during the real time webinar on October 28th and 29th. And the second expected output the action plan. Action plans are the essence of your online training. 
for uh, build to, for building and writing an action plan, applying knowledge acquired through lectures and discussions and working on measures to solve the issues or problems identified in the country report from various angles. To build an action plan, uh, you should incorporate the observations, experiences, and findings from lectures and discussions. And you should be encouraged to develop action plan with the country report. Please rem remember, action plans are the essential of your online training. By far, I have been explained the online training process and the assignments that need to be submitted. The 12-day online training will help you a lot, right? If so, please write your impressions on the satisfaction survey after the, this course is over. Certificates will be awarded to those who have completed all this course. Once again, welcome aboard for 2020 online training. KTPA hope that the 12-day training course will be of great help in fostering cooperation between Algeria, Georgia, Paraguay, Uruguay, and South Korea. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.